Hello and welcome to my 12th Minecraft Forge modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.4.7. This is Psycho1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So, um, one quick thing I want to get out before I start um, coding is that 1.4.6 mods work with 1.4.7 and vice versa. 1.4.7 was just um, an update to fix three bugs, so most of the underlying code does not change. Um, so... I'm not going to be updating all of my 1.4.6 tutorials just yet. Um, I'm going to wait till 1.5 comes out for that. Anyway, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about how to add a new food to the game. It's actually pretty simple. Um, just before I start, I'm going to, I don't care if I have a computer update. Um, I just want to show you that I've just created a new little texture. I copied the apple texture and recolored it um, just using the GIMP coloration effects. Um, but anyway, uh, let's actually get to coding our custom item. So inside our tutorial.com, I'm going to create a new class and this is going to be item tutorial food and then hit finish. So now we have our public class item tutorial food and this is going to extend item food. So instead of extending item, it extends item food. Um, we just need to import item food, if it'll let me import, um, and you'll see it's going to give us an error. Now, I'm actually going to create this constructor uh, myself because there's a couple things I want to explain with it. So this is going to be public um, item tutorial food, and then we have a few parameters, um, and they are int um, int id int and now we have um, so this parameter is going to be the I'm not quite sure how to describe this um, this is going to be the amount of food it heals so I'm going to say uh, this is the food amount and then we have float and this is going to be saturation. So I'm going to say um, sat. And then finally, boolean um, is wolf me. And then we can finish off the constructor. Now you'll see it's going to give us... Um, do, 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 what did I mess up? Okay, let me just restart all of that. Okay, I don't quite see what I messed up there, but I messed something up. Um, oh, I forgot to add the super line. Duh. Um, yeah, be sure that when you're creating a constructor, you add super par 1, par 2, par 3, par 4. Um, and that's all we actually need to do. Uh, we just need to add the normal public string get texture file and then return um, slash tutorial slash tutorial underscore textures dot png. Ah, I can't type today. Sorry. Okay. Um, so now inside our tutorial class, I've already declared most of the tutorial food stuff um, to save time, but I'm just going to say um, tutorial food equals new item tutorial food and then tutorial food ID um, as stated previously I've declared all of this already uh, but it's just like uh, this it's right up here actually tutorial food ID and then we're going to say the food level um, that we declared in the constructor so if I were to say one, it would heal half a heart of the player's hunger bar when eaten. Um, so I'm going to say four, so it'll heal two little chicken sticks. Now we have the saturation level, and I'm going to set this to 2.0F. And that's a float value. Hopefully you know what that is. If you know Java, um, it's going to be a float value. I could say 2.5f. 2.0f um, is going to be a 
about the sat it's not much um i'm not quite sure what all of the numbers compare to you can play around with that uh when you're actually creating your mod now we just say true or false so i'm going to say false because it's a kind of apple um but if you were to say true uh, then it's going to make it so that you can feed it to your pet dogs in the game. If you say false, you can't feed it to your pet dogs. They just won't eat it. Um, for those of you who don't know, if you're feeding your dogs in Minecraft, it heals them a bit. Um, now I'm just going to say dot set item name. This will be tutorial food. Tutorial food. And then... I cannot type today. Dot set icon index, and this is going to be 254 because 255 is our tutorial ingot. Um, I've already declared the game registry and language registry, um, and let's go ahead and run. Now, unfortunately, there's no easy way to make myself hungry quickly in the game. So I cannot show you that I can eat it. However, I assure you that this code works. If it doesn't work, then I will redo this whole tutorial. Um, but you'll see that if I go into game mode one, not zero, that it's going to be right here in the foodstuffs because it extends um, the food item. So, um, unfortunately, I'm sorry, I can't show you that it works, but it does. Um, so, thank you for watching this tutorial. I'm not quite sure what I'll talk about in the next tutorial, but I can guarantee that it will be something. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.